you have achieved yeah. this with your effort, with the blessings of mother, father, teachers, and your colleagues. If we are achievers, we must give back something to the society. And you are now getting ready to prepare yourself so that you can give something back to the society. I wish you all the best and I pray that you succeed in your ambitions to be a better achiever, more achiever, and giving back something to the society. I wish you all the best. I welcome you all to have joined this family of conceptual orthopedists. Most of you have been interacting with the teachers at various platforms in the app. This is our short group interaction arrangement so that you can you can interact in a better way face to face. The very important thing is that you should continue your learning and never give up. With these words, I welcome you all to this venue and to conceptual entrepreneur. Thank you. Today happens to be an important day for the organizers, the team of conceptual orthopedics. And uh, I think you all are very fortunate to be the first batch which has occupied these chairs for a learning session which is a physical learning session. Initially this the conceptual orthopedics was supposed to be only an e-learning platform. But over the years we felt the need for an in-person interaction also. And that is why this beautiful complex has been created so that not only you but we can also learn on a physical platform. Dr. Tuli has beautifully said that you are all achievers and the role of this platform is to make you achieve a level of perfection and I think in whatever way the teachers here can contribute to make you achieve that level of perfection, level of excellence in orthopedics, we will try our best. Thank you very much and wish you a successful course. We we'll request uh, Mike, Dr. Dr. Bhatin, sir, Thank you, sir, to come and uh, share a few sir, Mike, like to it. Hmm. Right, uh, in words. And I will also request, sir, to tell us why this auditorium is called as Swan Auditorium. Right. I would have asked this to Dr. Tully, but I think you can describe it equally well, sir. Okay, so first let me speak the what is most important for you. Uh, this is the first time a course like this has been organized. You must be aware of it. First time we are attempting to have a better training so that you can be successful. And it is only 10 days left. I think you people will be having the best use of this course. 
to make the best out of it please do interact as much as you can so stand up try to answer the question and make it as interactive as possible to make the best use of it that is my advice as far as uh, today's program and the next two days program is concerned because in 10 days you will have the fruit of what you have done today to witness it is important to learn the keyword when you are answering the oski and try to give the keyword prominently in your answers that is what the examiner is looking for when he is doing the marking and uh, giving you the marks for this so this is as far as the course is concerned uh, this auditorium is called swaran auditorium uh, because dr tuli wife dr swar mrs swaran tuli she named it he wanted it to be named and apurv had a very good question on the day this naming was done that and you must also remember you people are going to go into a family manner so you will need you will remember this answer he asked the question what is the best gift that a father can give to the daughter the best gift a father can give to the daughter you people will be becoming father some of you might be and the answer to that question was very beautiful to show respect to her mother is the best gift you can give to the daughter so this is the answer you must remember it is called swaran auditorium for that reason copyright test yes it was copyright by apurv but it is something here we are all breaking the copyright and sharing the knowledge okay nothing remains copyrighted once you are in a teaching education so i think i have few introductory slides when we start the session so i won't uh, utilize much of this time but i am very touched with what professor tuli just said that he feel maybe feel misfit for this uh, kind of advance in learning with the key point there is his apprehension of these kind of assessment tools we have with us and there are advantages and there are disadvantages and i'll highlight those points when it become objective structural and there is no examiner there to subjectively see the little clue that whether you know or you don't know sometimes it's very difficult to assess you guys but here we are objective and we will emphasize to you what is the little Uh, tricks and trips of uh, tips of attending oskis how not to make mistake and that i will emphasize when we doing the course itself but this is a new way of examination not that all of us agree that this is the right way but here we are in 2024 and it's not going away most of the things i think internationally going this way oskis examination rather than bringing patient to you and clinically examining you Uh, we have people coming from all over. We have an international faculty, Dr. Nawful, who has travelled from Abu Dhabi. Okay. We have uh, Dr. Shailesh, who has come from Mangalore. Dr. Fahim from Mangalore, and then we have Dr. Vishal coming from Karnataka. So I request Dr. Shailesh to please come and address everybody. They want to listen to you. Uh, very good morning. So I think most of my senior uh, teachers here have told regarding. most things that i would wanted to highlight but one thing i would want to bring about is uh, when the co was started there was a vision of what we want to do and we want to provide a level playing field where all students across the country have a platform to learn and then uh, use that knowledge for the benefit of your own patients right so uh, we have done that level playing field because what happened was if you go a decade back during my time maybe i am i myself a dnb student so we used to be judged for being dnb and with the whatever institute from so the question used to be asked what degree and what institute and used to be judged based on that because that was how it was and now we are here with such a platform where i am pretty sure all of us sitting in the hall have enough knowledge or enough resources at least to uh, outshine uh, anyone across across the country that's that's what you need to uh, utilize for for your best benefit so next 3 days uh, be uh, on time and ask questions like what has been told make the best actually everything has already been summed up uh, so you're here for about 3 days of learning uh, my school motto was knowledge is power and uh, it's something i go by i mean something i get up every day to 
and knowing that uh, the, the knowledge that I have, I can tread any path uh, that I take. So fill your life with these extra three days of knowledge and hope you can uh, charter the seas of the exams as well as your professional life thereafter. With, that, with those words, uh, thank you and have a good uh, learning experience. Thank you, Fahim. Thank you very much. Vishal, your turn to come and talk to your students. Hello. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, one thing uh, I want to convey about the importance of OSCE is when I speak to my students who have just passed or just by uh, clearing the exams, they scored about out of 300, they scored about 155, 156. 160, 170 and odd and few of the students who could not clear that part their score were something around 146, 147 they just fall short of only 3 or 4 marks ok so that time I realized that the importance of OSCE if that student could have cleared that one question properly could have cleared that exam right so keeping that in mind keeping how to answer that one part of the question that one question you want to answer that if you could clear one question out of this course, you, will, you can pass through that DMB exam easily. So that's very important. So thinking of that, so all the best. Happy learning. Dr. International Thank you, sir. And uh, so basically, uh, I think it has already been mentioned by the senior faculty. Dr. Dimri, sir, mentioned it very well that OSCE is definitely not going away. National board is not taking away OSCE anytime soon because they want to continue with that because it is the only part of the exam that is actually objective, right? So remove the subjectiveness and they want to continue with it. And with that thought in mind, I think it is important that each of you takes it in a way that uh, the course three days is not going to give you a lot of, I mean, it will give you knowledge of course, but knowledge is not something that you have to take away from this course. What you have to take away from this course is the approach to the OSCE session or the OSCE part of your exam. So that is what I think you should be concentrating upon and that is what we will be trying to emphasize as much as possible over the next three days. So with this thought, I think uh, can we can have the video. I had teachers in form of Dr. Kuli, Dr. Kumar, Dr. Jain and students like of Dr. Apoor. Teacher ka in fact it will be data, it will be data. It is indeed a great moment that one of the milestones has been hit. Profession may be very far away, very far away. But this human touch is with me. Who is profession to implement it? Who is a part of 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 it?